Well, drivers in Metro Detroit are in for some good news for a change. The state of Michigan is announcing some huge road repair projects to the tune of $115 million. But some say that's still not enough. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykat is live in Southfield where drivers are responding. Simon. Good evening, Glenda. You know, here along Evergreen Road, you can see the orange barrels are everywhere, but some are still saying this is too little, too late. All across southeast Michigan, drivers like Kevin Dixon are still bitter about the need for road repairs. We really need the roads fixed really, really bad. I mean, uh, people have helped cause damages to their cars, uh, you know, alignments. His kids agree. Potholes are terrible! From awful stretches along Green Lake Road to spots along Evergreen and Greenfield. Greenfield and um, Nine Mile. Really bad, right by St. John Providence Hospital. Now comes news of some relief from Lansing. $115 million announced for statewide road projects this year. You'll see road work along I-75, I-275, and I-94. On Monday, Greenfield between 8 and 9 Mile will be torn out and redone. 10 and Evergreen in Southfield is already being rebuilt, and it couldn't come any sooner. We spend all your time focusing on where the heck the potholes are and not what's you know driving around. There's definitely some areas where you're wondering if your wheels are going to fall off. You see the cars on the side of the road with the uh, wheels bent up and tires blowing out, and it's an issue. An issue many feel is still not being addressed even with these projects. State lawmakers left for summer break without passing an additional billion dollars in funding called for by the governor. Kevin Dixon thinks about the safety of his kids on the roads each and every day, and he's hoping Lansing can get it right this time. It seems like every year you get the same roads that are being repaired, and it's causing you know, traffic jams. Now, MDOT says some of the good news along I-96 in Redford and Livonia, that project is more than half over. We've got a complete list of all the projects on our website, WXYZ.com. Back to you.